What is DAISY and who uses it? DAISY means Digital Accessible Information System, which is a standard developed by the libraries for the print disabled around the world. The DAISY format provides the user with information that he can navigate into the book. Think of a table of contents where you have a book with that, with a, which has a structure. If you have a book that has chapters and subsections and sections, and you can navigate to the chapters and you can also navigate to the subsections and sections in the book, which provides you with a very complex and easy to use approach to navigate into the book. Think of a journal where you have special parts of a journal, so you're only interested in sport, you can easily uh, navigate to sport and only listen to sport, for example, in the journal. Books are delivered in this kind of boxes to our patrons. We can open the box quite easily. The C CD is inside. I take it out and I give it to this special DAISY player. DAISY title. Beginning of title. Animal Farm by George Orwell. So it is an Japanese device, that's why it makes these funny noises and speaks to us in, e in English. So we have also a German interface for this um, device. It is a device, I have to mention, for older users who are not used to the internet, who want, they want to have the CDs, they want to have it quite easy, and all the buttons they push on the device, the device is talking to the user, and the users, they love it very much. So I will shortly give you a presentation how you can navigate into the book. I can just play, uh, push the play button. Zu diesem Buch. Eigentumsvermerk. So there are some copyright informations uh, in German. I will um, go to the next part of the book. Struktur des Buches. The structure of the book. Klappentexte. First, a few words about George Orwell. Eric Arthur Blair, George Orwell, was born in 1903. Okay, some information about the author. And now I go to the first chapter. Chapter 1. Mr. Jones of the Manor Farm had locked the hen houses for the night, but was too drunk to remember to shut the pop holes. Okay, um, let's go to the chapter 5. Chapter 4. Chapter 5. As winter drew on, Molly became more and more troublesome. Easily can, we can go back to the chapter 2, for example. Chapter 3. Oh. Chapter 2. This book only provides us with one chapter structure. If there's more complex, you can navigate uh, to the substructure as well. One other feature I want to uh, show to you, it is the capability of increasing the speed of the reader. Speed plus one. Three nights later, old Major died peacefully in his sleep. His body was buried at the, the foot of the orchard. This was early in March. During the next three months, there was much oh, a little too secret activity. Fast. It's normal. Major speech had given to the more intelligent animals on the farm. Or oh, you can slow it a down. Completely new outlook on life. They did not know when the rebellion predicted by Major would take place. To increase the speech is often used by our patrons and also to turn down the speech for uh, the, the listeners because if they have hearing problems as well and sightless problems then it maybe is quite might be more comfortable for them to slow down the speed. So the user can choose whatever he wants, he can navigate to the structure of the book and he can read the whole book um, all night and day long. The younger generations and also elder people who are interested in using internet technology, they can download the books uh, right from the PC or from a smartphone and we have an app on the smartphone so that the user can use this app to download the book directly on his device and uh, listen to it if he likes to have it.
How does the translation into the DAISY format work? It's actually not a really translation, it is uh, a narration. Our books are written in the studios by professional narrators. Uh, written, they read the whole book and the book is recorded on audio um, and uh, then the structuring process takes place. That means that all the audio informations are um, glued together with the structured information, the table of contents. Uh, the book is divided into different parts of the book's chapters, sections, subsections. And at the end, this book is created as a large digital file, which will be compressed in, AP, in MP3 format and uh, the book is stored on a CD and uh, is delivered to our customers on CD. But in our current service we provide also the books via the internet so that you can download the books.